We're in the middle of a very interesting transition at Atlassian. Jira Work Management and Jira Software is slowly and painfully becoming just Jira. And right now we have features that are in one, but not the other. And eventually they're just gonna be the same product. And so today I'm gonna to show you a pretty cool feature that is currently still only in Jira Work Management, but just keep in mind that it is slowly and eventually gonna become a Jira Software feature. And this is a feature that I'm very, very excited for because up until today and up until being able to do this in Jira Work Management, it's been a pain in my behind. And I'm very excited that Atlassian is making incremental changes to make the timeline experience so much better. So let's jump into Jira and let's take a look. All right, so here we are inside of a Jira work management project and specifically we're looking at the timeline. Now the timeline is no different than it's been for a while. It's still the basic timeline and if you want all the bells and whistles, you still need to go create a plan, which means you need to still be on the premium or enterprise versions of Jira. But if you're on standard or free, then everybody gets this timeline and while it's been pretty basic, it's getting a little bit more powerful. And I'm going to show you a couple of cool new things that are going to be coming very, very soon to Jira software. Again, just Jira, but are currently available in Jira work management only, but eventually it all just becomes Jira. So again, at last if you're watching, please, 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 let's get these updates out quicker so that these videos get a little less confusing or a little less harder to make. So let's jump back into timeline and let's talk about this cool feature. All right. So if you've ever used the basic timeline inside of Jira, then you know that you can hit the create button here and you can essentially create an epic, right? So I can go, this is my second epic. And when I hit create, that epic is created. Now what is different, right? You might have not noticed this, but it's very subtle. In Jira software, this says create epic. Inside of Jira work management, it simply just says create. And this is very, very important because Atlassian is basically really doubling down on this whole concept of like system of work and this idea that no longer are we restricted by the framework of agile to make our decisions on how we work, but rather you as the individual customer get to decide what work looks like. And that could be anything you want it to be. And as such, Atlassian is making these very subtle, but very important and necessary updates to eliminate words like create epic. And so when you hit the create button, you can create whatever you want, right? So you can create your epic, your story, or your task. And that, my friends, is very, very powerful because again, Atlassian's given us control. Atlassian's given us the power and authority to have a very generic Jira that is going to allow us to basically track the work that's important to us in our business, which may not be the same thing that Agile wants you to be tracking. So that's very, very important here. Now, it still breaks my heart. Atlassian's slowly killing Agile, in my opinion, but it is for the better. All right, so back to the timeline here. When I'm in my timeline, I can go back to that epic I just created, hover over it, and click the little plus button here, and I can create a child issue. And so this is gonna be my second task, all right? And what's cool here is you can obviously default to a task, or you can change it to a story or a bug if you have it, but you just simply hit the create button, and that nested item is gonna be created. So at this point, you may be asking, Alex, well, a little clickbaity, where's the new stuff, right? Where's the cool stuff? Well, let me show you what happens next because this next part is really where now Atlassian starts to confuse me a little bit because we're starting to blur the differences between premium and standard. We're starting to blur just capabilities and overall functionality of how this thing works because up until this point, when you create or when you're utilizing the timeline, the buck stops there. You're able to see your epic and you're able to see your task or your story and that's it you get a little tiny little icon if you have a subtask to show you like, hey, this story or task has subtask and you get this tiny little icon. And if you wanted to see the whole hierarchy, you got to pony up and go to the premium version so that you can use the JAR or the JAR advanced roadmaps or the advanced timeline or the plans, whatever you want to call it, but you got to pony up and use that. But check this out. Inside of here, I can now hover over the task that I just created, click that little plus button, and watch, notice that it automatically defaults to a subtask. And so I can just do like subtask two, hit enter. And now for the first time inside of a basic timeline, I can see the whole three tier hierarchy. And this is essentially what's new, right? This is really, really cool. I think this is a very awesome change that Atlassian is doing here because for the first time we're able to see our entire hierarchy. And so now the list view that shows you the entire hierarchy, the timeline view that shows you the whole hierarchy, 
it all just starts it's, it's giving you like this very cohesive experience where it's all the same and you don't have to go to so many different places just to see all your data so a very very welcome change at last and kudos for for letting this finally happen again here it is all three so you no longer have to depend on that tiny little icon that tells you like hey this task has some subtasks you're able to see everything now we're also able to put dates on everything which again is a really really cool thing because Previously, this was only a Jira premium only functionality. So this is kind of cool that the basic timeline is able to do this. So I can't wait for Atlassian to finally bring these capabilities over to Jira software because in Jira software, we're still very much limited in the old way. And so you're kind of incentivized to make this Jira work management project, but then there's still benefits of Jira software that just haven't made it over. So again, Atlassian, if you're watching, please, please, please. We just want this cohesive experience to just now exist because it's so hard to like, pick which Jira project you should create today because Jira work management is going to become Jira software, but Jira software is going to just become Jira. And yeah, it's just very confusing. So stay tuned for future videos as Atlassian updates this and gets their affairs in order. I will make new and updated videos for you all. So you're always up to date. Well, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out that link in the description down below. I got a merch store. I got paid courses. I got free courses. I have membership opportunities. So if you need some one-on-one -on -one help, there's a link in that link tree where you can sign up and buy some time with me so that I can help you walk you through these problems. So if you're confused and you're like, hey, which Jira project should I pick? I'm very, very confused. I'll sit down with you, listen to your requirements and help you figure out which way is the best path forward for you and your team. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like. If you have any questions, that comment section down below is very useful and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>